Thanks, Jen. Madam Secretary, what's your advice then to the employers who say they are having difficulty hiring workers? Uh, one suggestion has been made to perhaps raise wages, but if businesses have to compete with plus up unemployment benefits, won't that result in an increase in consumer prices and touch off an inflationary cycle that so many experts have been worried about? Well, I, I really doubt that we're going to see an inflationary cycle, although I will say that all the economists in the administration are watching that very closely. As um, my colleagues have said, the CEA put, put out a blog post on this. We expect somewhat higher inflation over the next several months for a variety of essentially technical reasons because of something called base effects that in year-over-year -year comparisons right now, um, the months in which prices fell the most are moving out of the average, and that leaves us with the number with the months in which they were rebounding toward more normal levels. But um, that's that's a transitory thing, not something that's associated with a buildup in wage in wage pressures. I mean, with respect to wages, um, the best data that we have suggests that wage growth has really not picked up meaningfully. Um, and in areas where you do see some pickup, for example, this month in services, there was a, um, a, a pickup in wages. But still, that's an area where wages actually fell at the beginning of the pandemic. And, you know, we're seeing a revival, not back yet up to normal levels. So, you know, in, in areas where wages are more flexible, they fell a fair amount. As the economy revised, we expect to see a return to more normal levels. But I don't think we're seeing meaningful upward pressure um, through, throughout much of the economy, but we'll watch that very carefully. Madam Secretary. So, uh, well, I was going to call on you, Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, and Madam she's going to have to, sorry, this is going to have to be the last one, and she's always welcome back any time. I think it's safe to speak for all of you. Go ahead. Madam Secretary, is there any more that you can share on how long Treasury's extraordinary measures on the, uh, uh, extending the debt limit may last? There were some comments yesterday from the agency, but if there's anything more you can share on that. So what, all I can really tell you is that the debt ceiling comes back into effect on July 31st, and there are a series of so-called extraordinary measures that are ordinary in the sense that they've been used many times in the past. But it is exceptionally challenging this time to try to figure out just how long those measures are going to last in part because of higher and more volatile um, spending and revenue numbers associated with the state of the economy and the pandemic. So we have evaluated a range of scenarios, and um, we are concerned that there are scenarios that um, would give a very limited amount of additional um, time through the use of extraordinary measures, but I can't really be more precise than that. Do you know if it's into October or, or further? I, I'm just saying there, there are scenarios in which, um, so, you know, sometime during the summer, um, we would, the extraordinary measures would run out.